Hi friends, Future Topher here from the editor's, well, bed. Um, I'm editing this video now. The version you're watching, well, right now, is the edited version for YouTube. Although the full-length version is also on YouTube, I figured that there would be an abundance of people who probably didn't want to watch me sit here and watch the movie for, you know, two hours straight and blah, blah, blah. So this version is truncated down. Um, if you want to watch the full-length version, it is also available on YouTube. The link will be down in the description. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys options. So, love ya. Mwah. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and it was actually a patron request sent to me by Bo. Actually, I guess it was sent to me by Bo's husband, Albert. Um, Bo's been supporting the channel for quite some time, um, sweetheart. Um, and he sent me a message saying, hey, my husband was wondering if you would react to these two movies. And it's totally okay if you don't want to, but you know, whatever. And I'm like, no, I've enjoyed everything you've sent to me thus far. And I haven't met your husband. I, I mean, I haven't met you either, but your husband sounds amazing too. So absolutely, let's do it. So we're going to dive into the first of the two movies, um, Present Perfect. And then later on, we'll look at the sequel. I think Present's still perfect or something along those lines. Um, I don't know anything about the movie other than they recommended to me and I've loved everything that they've said to me so far so I was like let's dive on in so that's what we're going to do we're just going to dive on and experience whatever present perfect is <laughs> so, welcome to Higashikawa. Hey, good. So, how have you been? Oh, I'm really tired. Oh, you had long flights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How have you been? Oh, I'm good. I'm having a nice marriage life. Oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Is the whole movie in English? Because I, I mean, I'm not upset about it. I just realized, like, I was reading the subtitles because it's, like, second nature for me, and so I'm really like, man, I'm really understanding what's happening here. So, um, Banky told me to leave you alone. Why? <laughs> yeah. My life is back up. Oh. Being alone might help. Because of the breakup? I think Banky must tell you everything already. Okay, so Bank is not a boyfriend, yes, I gather. Is. But I want to hear from you. Forget it. <laughs> so piece together who's who. I don't know if she's just a friend or a sister oh, or what. Yeah. Okay. See you then. Oh, uh, I forgot to tell you that the closest supermarket is two kilometers away. Okay. Then, uh, so you can have the natto I gave you as breakfast. Okay, thank you. So I will see you tomorrow evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Or else I do prefer him with this haircut to the longer hair. Hi. Hello. Hi. Can you speak English? Yeah. 
Uh, I live next door, and I need your help. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, yes, how can I help I you? I forgot my key inside of the house. May I use this phone to call to staff? Yeah, come in. Thank you. Yeah. Use whatever you want, baby. Hello. Hey, I forgot my key in the room. Would you mind give me a spare one in front of my house? Thank you for your help. Welcome. You're welcome. Can I help any, way, any other way? Where you come from? Mm, Thailand. Oh, this is Thai, right? Yes. แล้วนี่เป็นของกรุงเทพป่ะเนี่ยอ๋อผมตะกูลครับโอเควิกวิกเลงกวิชชวิชบ้านที่อยู่ข้างๆนะถ้าเกิดมีอะไรให้ช
แล้วพี่ทำงานอะไรครับทำงานแบงก์อ่ะได้ละอ I like the sort of tentative, awkward nature of their conversation. Um, it's very much like how it is when you you're meeting somebody new for the first time. Like, what do you do? I do this. Okay. Wait in silence until I can think of the next question. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. It's interesting. Everyone else, it's a conversation style that I have all the damn time whenever I meet new people. ไปกับไทยเมื่อไหร่อ่ะก็ตามที่วางไว้ก็น่าจะประมาณหนึ่งอาทิตย์นะครับแต่ก็ยังไม่ชัวร์นะยังไม่อยากกลับแล้วนี่มาเที่ยวคนเดียวแบบเนี้ยแฟนไม่ห่วงบ้างหรอเลิกกันแล้วครับไม่เป็นไรเนอะงานแบงก์นี่ทำอะไรบ้างอะครับที่พี่บอกว่าพี่ทำงานแบงก์อะครับพี่ทำหน้าที่อะไรพี่ทำบัญชีอ่ะน่าเบื่อไหมไม่รู้ดิพี่ทำมาสามปีแล้วอะก็เก็บตังค์ต่อโทด้วยแล้วก็แต่งงานมาเวงนี่กำลังจะแต่งงานนะครับ No, just playing in the head. Oh, okay, rude. อีสี่อาทิตย์อ่ะ Oh, okay, fine, rude. อ่ะแล้วแฟนที่อ่ะแยกกันเที่ยวอ่ะต่างคนต่างเที่ยวยังไงอ่ะพี่คืองี้นะพี่กับแฟนอ่ะเราสองคนตกลงกันว่าต่อไปเนี้ยเราจะไม่มีชีวิตสอยต่อไปแล้วเราเลยแยกกันเที่ยวด้วยแบบไม่ติดต่อกันไม่ส่งข่าวให้กันละกันแล้วพอวันที่สิบเอ็ดพฤษภาเราค่อยกลับมาคุยกันโอ้โหจริงๆแล้วคือเราก็มีปัญหาเรื่องของการแต่งงานแต่ผมก็ไม่ได้ทำให้ใครเกิดความรู้สึกแบบนี้And their choices of where they put background music is interesting because, like, I'm noticing they're not using it for extended periods of time. It's like a good 10 seconds, and then they're they're just done. Again, just interesting choices in this movie. The like, girl, I found you. I thought your ass was staying inside. Ah. Who said you didn't go out? Oh, it started to look better. It looked better. เออนั่นนี่จะไปไหนเนี่ยกลางแผนที่ซะไปโฟโต้เทเลอรี่ในเมืองนะครับในเมืองเลยหรอไกลนะเดี๋ยวพี่พาไปเช่าจักรยานดีกว่ามันไกลไหมครับไม่นะเดินไปแป๊บเดียวแล้วเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวพี่ไปไหนต่อเนี่ยพี่ว่าจะขึ้นเขาอ่ะไปเขาอาซาฮิดาเกะกันไหมสวยงามเลยทำไมทีนี้ไม่ใช้กล้องมือถือถ่ายอ่ะ
ผมใช้กล้องฟิล์มเวลากันเป็นให้แล้วนะครับมานี่ผมเอาฟิล์มมาแค่สองม้วนทำไมเธอเรื่องแฟนเก่าเหรอไปแช่ออนเซนกันปะเพื่อจะได้ไฮเฮิร์ตแมวพี่ใช่ไหมวะไปดิลองดูก็ก็ก็ให้ take a bath with them it's fine I'm sure take a bath to them means something different than what's going on in my head but just go ahead and take a bath that's fine yeah oh okay maybe it's maybe it's not okay this movie just took a turn that I'm here for I subscribe to this channel Interesting dynamic between these two. Oh, 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 okay. Um, I, 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 I didn't realize I was gonna be just, okay. Praise Jesus. I mean, I got this video off of YouTube, so it's I, there. I shouldn't be getting any kind of blocks or anything coming from YouTube, but yeah, okay. Hello. I think some of the other series I react to should could could, could take a lesson. I got something for you. Ta da! Awesome! Oh, thank you very much. Thai beer. Yes. So, how do you know I like Thai beer? Banky told me. He's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Who's Banky though? I... No, no, no. Why? No, not for now. Come on, sing together. Mm, no, city, city. I cannot drink beer for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody pregnant? Oh, you gonna introduce her to your neighbor boy? Hello, sir. Hello. I think I'm going to go to the supermarket. Oh, now I'm going to go. Hi. Yes. Hi. Oh, this is Yumi. Yumi, this is Odd. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey. Are you in the city? I saw that you want to go to the photo gallery, right? Yes, yes. Hey. พรุ่งนี้เดี๋ยวผมบอกอีกทีแล้วกันครับโอเคถ้าเกิดจะไปยังไงก็สายสายเจอกันนะโอเคครับโอเคนัทมิวอีกแล้วพี่โอ๊ตอยู่ปะครับว่าไงใต้ผมทำมาแค่ปลอดหายอ่ะเจ้าหายที่ไหนอ่ะจำไม่ได้เลยพี่ไม่รู้เลยอ่ะพี่ไม่บอกว่าโอ๊ตโอนมันฉันไม่คิดว่านี่คือที่ทางการแสดงออกไปแต่นี่อาจจะเป็นการเปลี่ยนแปลงที่ดีที่สุดของการแสดงออกไปฉันไม่รู้ว่ามันคืออะไร
Well, if I knew that, it wouldn't be lost, now would it? Who lost? Who's the 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 I mean, you didn't have to tell me. I don't care what's going on with my ex. ไม่กันจะมั่นแล้วพี่ไหมแฟนเก่าอ่ะเหรอผมก็ก็ไหนมาห้าปีเลิกกันห้าเดือนอีกสามเดือนจะมั่นมันหมายความว่าไงวะใ
ครับเคยจูบกับผู้ชายไหมไม่เคยพี่โอเค we have it พี่เคยเหรอเคยเคยแต่เคยมันตอนเด็กนะคือตอนนั้นอ่ะพี่อยากรู้ว่าจูบมันเป็นยังไงพี่ก็เลยลองจูบกับเพื่อนดูตอนนะก้อยมีตาผม girl he's looking like those two shots hit him quick they hit him hard and quick แน่ชัวชัวโซ่เอเวอร์เดย์จะสกินบีดริงก์คือชาวบ้านสกิลโอ๊ยฉันไม่ต้องเข้าใจไม่ผิดฉันเคยไปที่นั่นปาร์ตี้ฉันรักคุณคาร์ลี่ที่ฉันรักที่สุดทุกครั้งที่คุณไปที่เขาที่เขาจะให้คุณถูกเกลียดไม่เป็นไรฉันมีความสูงของแอลกอฮอล์และทุกคนจะพยายามที่จะเข้าไปก่อนที่ผมจะแต่ฉันไปที่นั่นปาร์ตี้ที่คุณรู้ว่าเดย์จะเ
Mm-hmm. Connect the dots. Well, I mean, he don't know because he was blackout drunk. Why? Mm-hmm. I think she ships it. If it wasn't for the fact that he was engaged and getting married in like four weeks, I would ship it too. But it's a very complicated, slippery slope right now. But yes, go talk to him and get clarification. Oh, girl. Girl, you good? <laughs> it's like, what the hell did I miss? How do I keep blacking out in fact? I like that scarf. Oh, <laughs> God. เป็นไงบ้างเนี่ยโอเคครับดีแล้วครับอันนี้ของพี่ป่ะครับอืมไม่เป็นไรใส่ไว้เถอะ curious about how this just this whole movie series is going to work out like my head's like splitting off to like 15 different directions of how this series could go แล้วชาติเป็นไงเข็มไปป่ะอืมทําอะไรพี่ได้ป่ะ Yes, please, just ask. คือผมไม่ได้อยากละลาบละลวงอะไรพี่นะครับแต่แต่อะไรพี่เป็นเกย์ป่ะครับอ่ะโอเคครับครับแล้วคนที่พี่จะแต่งงานด้วยผู้หญิงผู้ชายอ่ะผู้หญิงสิอือฮึสตอรี่คิปส์เกตมอร์คอมพลิเคเตดอืม
if he is woman. I mean, I don't know about all that either. Don't try to sit down. Can I sleep here tonight? I made miso soup. Mm. The best food in Japan. I love me some miso soup. <laughs> Yay! Why? You don't like it? It's amazing. I love it. I think it's a bit bad. <laughs> no, we eat this every morning. Every Japanese love natto. Well, not every, but mostly. I guess it's a good thing I'm Thai. <laughs> so weird. No, it's not weird. I think you don't know how to eat natto. How did you eat it? With a spoon. I tried to anyway, but it kept attacking me. Just eat it. Oh, I show you the good way to eat natto. some fire under that egg maybe we go, go cook that a little bit I hope no we just gonna have it raw Chow, not, not, mm -mm, not the salmonella mm -mm. <laughs> oh, it's good right. mm -mm. not today Jesus sure you sure it's not poisonous? Well, I don't know. You, you've given me this raw egg and mixed with this... Mm -hmm. I mean, can I at least get some miso soup poured on top of that? Maybe the heat from the soup will cook the egg or something? I just... I, I'm, my stomach is not, not here for this... Me just eating this raw egg. Mm -hmm. You better teach him. You better teach him. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't talking just about this natto either. Like, go talk to your sexy Thai neighbor. I'm living gay, I'm gay. I'm gay. มันก็รู้สึกแปลกๆไงไม่รู้นะยังไงอ่ะไม่รู้ดิมันอธิบายไม่ถูกอ่ะแบบนี้ก็มีด้วยเหรอที่นั้นน่ะพี่ที่เร
felt some Thank difference you, the next morning. the ambient noise just went through. Why, why, why do we have no sound? Okay, that's strange. I guess we're just gonna read subtitles until the sound comes back. Um, I got this video straight off of YouTube, so I don't, I don't know quite what's. Um... Yeah, this is so weird. Yeah, one one kiss on the porch and all of a sudden y'all okay. It's like I only use my film camera for important things and I, I guess that kiss was good. Okay. Oh, okay, now we bathing together, okay. That was such a weird just couple minutes. Child? I mean, I would have to ask my wife first, but I feel like um, the wedding's in a couple of weeks. We've already book the venue, we've already got the seating oh, arrangements and all that kind of stuff set. Like, you can't just pop up, you know, four weeks, like, hey, I, we slept together, can I go to your wedding? But, okay, sure, whatever. ทำอะไรผิดพลาดในชีวิตบ้างปะเนี่ยก็ไม่แน่ใจอ่ะพี่ว่าเรื่องไหนบ้างแต่ถ้าเป็นเรื่องเสียใจก็จําได้อยู่
แล้วไหนบอกว่าไม่ชอบกินพี่จำอยู่มีได้ไหมเขาสอนการกินที่ถูกวิธีมาโคตรอร่อยเลยนะให้ดมก่อนอ okay, ันนี้ผมไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่กินได้ปะทำไมมันฮัมไรท์เดอร์วิทยูไม่ได้กินกับข้าวพี่เอาน้ำตกไปด้วยดิไม่กินพร้อมกับข้าวด้วยเออเป็นยำคำไปดิฮิสเซนนาเดอะซีฟมีไม่เห็นอร่อยเลยนั่งเลี่ยนกันเลยดิพี่แม่งไม่มีศิลปะในการกินมากกว่า No you just sit here eating raw eggs and some beans <laughs> mm. Good morning What's wrong Wow it's still long And he's upstairs sleeping We are meeting jungle Anyway what happened Mm-hmm. That's why she. That's why he tell you to calm your ass down. Ta da! What? Hmm. Ta da, B. Thank you. How did you get it? Ah, uh, the stuff in the town called me. Thank you. Welcome. Ah, uh, so my husband just got back from Taipei, and we're going to have a big dinner tonight. So would you guys like to join us dinner? So n i k i Adi, a l right. Uh, just you? No, no, you go. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh no, we both coming, girl. Okay. okay. okay bye. Mm-hmm. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no. You? Did you? No, I'm not. <laughs> I kicked the wrong direction. I'm sorry. <laughs> They made it kind of obvious, but still. Okay. <laughs> like I say, you don't seem too happy, Papa. You you sure you good with this? เดี๋ยวนี้พี่กลับไปนอนที่บ้านพี่นะทำไมฮะเป็นไรเปล่าพี่รู้สึกไม่ค่อยดีนิดหน่อยไม่สบายปะเนี่ยหรือว่าซุก,กี้ไม่อร่อยคือน้ำหวานเขาท้องคืออะไรครับพี่คือน้ำหวานเขาท้องได้สี่เดือนแล้วอะ่ะแล้วพี่ก็กำลังจะเป็นพ่อคนแล้วเหมือนกันพ
ี่คิดจะบอกผมอะไรอ่ะ Well I mean that that didn't really know what the nature of our relationship was so I didn't think I was going to need to but พี่ขอโทษนะ I mean, you knew I was getting married, so it's not exactly like we we're gonna run off and you know, be happily ever after. Hi. I mean, we we're literally just talking about my wedding in the bath, like yesterday, and you're talking about you want to come to the wedding, so I, you can't act surprised at the fact that I have a relationship that I'm in. Hmm. Girl, where are you going? Are you gonna go bother your friend again? Can't run off like that and expect him to just sit around waiting. Ah, uh, it's the guy who lives in the house number one one two. Check out. Oh uh, yes, he did yesterday. Okay. Ito. Ito zema. Ah, are you friend of him? Yes. Oh uh, yes, just wait a minute. He left a noise for you. Me? Yes. I mean, what? What if he's the wrong friend? What if? <laughs> like you didn't ask for any name or any kind of like. What if? Okay. Is this Banky? Okay. Uh, thank you. Hey, So is he going back to the place? And potentially go meet up with Oat again? Oh, girl, that. Oh, how you doing? Oh, praise Jesus, the glow up is real. Girl, how could I forget? Although I missed the little bits of facial hair on you, but oh. I, I liked the hair before, but I'm, I'm loving this hair now. Oh, daddy. You too. ไปช่างไหนครับเนาะพี่โอ๊ตแมนเนี่ยที่จะไปบ้านแฟนพี่ที่ภูเก็ตน้ำหวานนี่เต้นะเต้นี่น้ำหวานสวัสดีครับนี่น้องงามชายพี่สวัสดีพี่เขาเร็วสวัสดีครับน้ำหวานนี่เต้เพื่อนที่ตอนที่พี่ไปญี่ปุ่นนะที่พี่พูดถึงนะคนนี้แหละเออ
ใต้พี่ขอ Facebook หน่อยดิได้ครับ I don't know if that's a good idea, baby, but you you can. Ah, who's on, huh? A N U O R. As soon as we part ways, I'm a block your ass because I don't think this is a good idea. But okay. The P I P N. ดีใจนะที่ได้เจอเหมือนพันพี่นานมาก Okay, let's let's let these lingering lingering glances stop while the wife is right there. Oh, no problem, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Good morning. Okay, I'll go. Good morning. Good morning. Yo, I've got too many damn feelings right now. Okay. I'm gonna say I don't know if I can handle any more twists and turns happening. But what is with? Okay. I don't understand what's with this video and just, we're just taking out all the sound at these random points. I don't know if it was like copyrighted music or something that's being played in the background, but I got this straight off of YouTube. Ciao. Right. Okay, so... Very interesting film. Very interesting. Oh, y'all seeing everything. What? Y'all need to see my book, my curtains. Um, but yeah, very interesting film. Very interesting premise. Sorry, everything's in the camera frame. It's distracting me. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, very interesting film. Very interesting premise. Um, not at all. Like there are a couple points there, and I mentioned it at least once, where I'm like, this story is going somewhere completely different than my brain was like thinking it was going to go. Um, it was a bit of a slow burn, so it started off a little slow at first, um, and then about midway through, things started to pick up a little bit, um, and I feel like the absence of music kind of lent itself to that slow burn feeling where it felt a little slow in the beginning. Um, but at the same time, I kind of like the absence of music throughout a lot of the things because it it made it feel less of like a fantasy, drama, BL, whatever you want to call it. And it made it feel more like just a... almost like an introspective kind of we're just here watching this moment. Like we're just part of this moment and we're just hearing everything they're hearing because like in real life, with the exception of you know certain scenarios like you might have music playing in the house or you might be at a restaurant or something like that but in real life like we don't have like a sweeping backing track we don't have all of this beautiful instrumental just you know setting the mood for all of these scenes like it's just life in the world we hear nature we hear the birds and the crickets we hear just the humming of an air you know air conditioner or you know whatever like we don't hear all of that fluffy sweet stuff which i love the fluffy sweet stuff but i like I like the absence of it in certain places in this because it made it just feel more raw and grounded and real and like, okay, we're just experiencing these moments with the characters. Um, and the same thing with, like how I mentioned, the conversation that they were having, I think the first night that they were over at um, Oat's cabin or whatever, and how it felt like just kind of like awkward and whatever, but I liked it because it felt real it felt like a real conversation that people who don't know each other and are just trying to get to know each other would have at least for me like there's some people who are very just very charismatic and very um good at socializing and just extroverted kind of personalities very good at having a conversation with people that they don't know and just getting to know people bam 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 socializing um but i'm very much the other end of the spectrum where it's like you know it takes a little while to get to know me, but once you get to know me, yeah, we can have great conversations and whatnot, but small talk is something that's always been difficult for me. Um, 
So, like, it just felt real. There's a lot of this just that felt real and grounded. Um, and yeah, it's it's interesting the the dynamic of their relationship. I liked how it developed. I like I like the friend. I forget her name. But the friend who spoke only English, English and Japanese. And that's when I noticed that the, the language shifts. Like, we only really spoke English when she was around. And then whenever she wasn't around, whenever it was just Oat and, um... Just Oat and, um... Crap, why can't I remember his name? Toy. When it was just Oat and Toy, um... That's when we, like, switched over to Thai. And then occasionally we'd run into other people and we'd switch to Japanese. Like, we bouncing around the, you know, the languages all around the place. Um, but yeah, I loved her, her inclusion. At first, I wasn't quite sure, like, what her purpose was, but I, I, I enjoyed her. She was a good, I mean, she was a good friend to Toy. Um, whenever, whenever he needed someone to talk to or he was going through these crises and he didn't, he didn't know, like, okay, have you ever done anything with a girl? And, you know, he's trying to process things because he thinks that he did something with, um, Oat, but he hasn't, um, he never, he didn't confirm it at that point. He was just speculating. Um, and she's like, you know, I haven't, um, but, you know, if I did wake up with somebody in my bed, some stranger, I'd be like, okay, whatever. Sex is sex. And, you know, that mentality works for some people. For some people, sex is just sex, and other people, sex is a much bigger deal. Um, so I can understand both ends of the spectrum. But I think what her mentality was, or what she was trying to get across to Toy at that point, was not so much to just, like, brush it off, like, oh, sex is sex and whatever, but to think of it not so much as, oh, potentially you slept with someone of the same sex, just make it like okay it was just you just slept with a stranger you slept with somebody um and then as the conversation went on he was like it'd be better if he, if he were a woman or no that's the next conversation when he came back was like yeah i slept with a man um she and she's asking him how he feels and whatnot he's like it'd be better if you were a woman and again i think she was just trying to get across to him like well you know don't don't try not to see it that way it's not so much about him being a man or him being a woman or you know whatever parts he has down there it's more like if it, if you were a woman you said you'd be fine with it so just you know be fine with it not you know easier said than done but just trying to make it a big deal like it's not it doesn't need to be about whether man or woman gay straight whatever it's just did you enjoy whatever obviously you don't remember anything but like, would this be something that you would like to explore? Blah, blah, blah. Don't shut yourself off from feeling things or from, you know, having this friendship, relationship, whatever it may be with this guy, um, just because he's a guy. Um, so I, I liked her inclusion. Um, I'm like bouncing around the movie in my head. Um, and... Again, there are a few times that I mentioned where the movie took like a different turn and I wasn't sure what to expect. So like when Oates mentioned that, yeah, he's getting married in four weeks, I'm like, okay, well, this is a wrench that I wasn't expecting to be thrown into the, you know, machine right now. But obviously I would like Oat and Toy to be together, but I don't, I'm not here to, you know, have any home wrecking happen. I'm not trying to have Toy, you know, break up a relationship or anything like that. And then later on, we found out that, okay, oh, oh, identifies as being gay, um, not bisexual, not fluid or anything like that. He uh, identified or he answered yes to being gay. So I'm like, okay, so what is this marriage that you're dealing with? And he made mention um, when he was trying to console Toy, when Toy found out that Mai was having an engagement party in a couple months or whatever. You know, trying to console her, like, you know, not all marriage is born out of love, whatever. Sometimes it's business or, you know, whatever. Sometimes it's just mutually beneficial for whatever. Sometimes it's not always love, which, you know, made me think, okay, is that what's going on with you? Especially once, you know, he confirmed that, yeah, I'm gay. So I'm like, okay, are you, why are, what is this marriage? Like, we didn't explore enough about him and his 
relationship, his marriage, his, you know, engagement, whatever, at that point, to really get a full, under, at least I don't think we did, um, to get a full understanding of what his headspace is like. Um, is he marrying this woman out of obligation? Is it out of, you know, business? Is it out of whatever? Did he have a drunken night and get her pregnant? And now he's like, what, what exactly is, what's drawing him to this marriage? Him being a gay man. If he was a bisexual man or, you know, something like that, I'd be like, okay, fine. Yeah. You float both ways. You like everything and that's fine. But the fact that he identified as a gay man, it's like, okay, what is in this marriage for you? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Um, so that was another like wrench thrown into the system. And then they started just exploring of not really a relationship, but I guess a friendship or something. I don't, they just started exploring. Like um, after it came out that yeah, they, they did the do. Um, Tori was obviously upset. And then he, you know, ran over to his friend's house. And then, you know, he went to talk to Oat. And then they went to the grocery shopping or whatever. They talked and, you know, things seemed to be good. And then Oat came back and was like, I'm gonna kiss you. I mean, he didn't announce it. He just laid it on him. And then after a few kisses, Toy seemed to, you know, kiss him back. So I'm like, okay, okay. So we don't hate this. We might kind of semi sort of enjoy this. And then we got a lot of almost montage like scenes where it's just them doing cute romantic coupley things. And I'm like, okay, this is cute. Except for that random two and a half minutes where just there was no sound in the video, which I still don't understand. I'm, I'm gonna assume that there was some sort of copyrighted music that whoever uploaded this to YouTube um, had removed so that the video didn't get blocked. That's, that's just gonna be my assumption. Um, but yeah, outside of that, like we got this whole montage moment of just cuteness with them and like oh it's almost like they're building this relationship from like okay this is cute and if this were any other scenario where he was not an engaged man getting married in four weeks i'd be like okay i'm here for this um and then that's around the time when i started having this thought that okay he seems to like yeah they seem to have this whatever relationship building but he's still engaged he's still engaged so i'm wondering if because i know there's a part two to this movie which i'm gonna watch at some point um so i'm wondering if maybe our goal in this is not to show them end up in a relationship but maybe it's gonna end up being kind of like a broke back mountain thing not where anybody's gonna you know meet that ending i'm not gonna have any spoilers but for people who've seen the movie y'all know how the movie ends um but more in the sense that they happen to build this connection, this relationship by chance at this place where they were away from everybody. And then they go on and live their regular lives when they go back home. So then maybe this was the same similar kind of scenario that was going to happen. Toy and Oat built this connection while they were here. And they're going to go back, live their regular lives. He's going to get married. He's going to do whatever with his photography and all that kind of stuff. And then just come back and meet every so often and just like rekindle that sort of friendship. I was like, maybe that's what's going to happen here. Something similar to that rather than they're going to ride off into the sunset and be happily ever after. Maybe it's just going to be a thing where, you know, they only get to see each other every so often. And it's just us following those moments when they're together and this special bond that they built together but they just couldn't be together because life didn't life just didn't work out that way um and i'm st still curious whether that's going to be the case um especially once he announced yeah um my fiance is pregnant and we're yeah she's pregnant and that seemed to really upset toy because i feel like at that point like, although Toy knew that he was getting married to the point where he's like, hey, can I come to your wedding? Which I'm like, child, okay, this scenario is complicated enough as is. Um, but I feel like despite the fact that he knew that he was getting married, he was in this relationship, he might have... I'm not going to say that Toy fell in love with him. Um, 
because again, it was only a few days, like a week or so here. And you know, love can happen in a quick amount of time, sure, it happens. Um, well, I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say that Toy fell in love with him, but Toy definitely, like they definitely built a bond. And I feel like this is the first bond that he's ever, you know, like this felt with a guy. Um, and there's something to be said about just that first time of catching those kind of feelings, even if it's not love, but that first time feeling that sort of romantic attraction to somebody, even though, you know, you your brain is telling you it's wrong or your brain's telling you that it's not going to work out. The heart wants what it wants. So I definitely think that there was some just like special connection between them that he was still holding out some sort of subconscious hope that they would end up being able to maintain that same level of specialness. Um, whether that meant that he was, uh, Oak was gonna break up with his fiance and be with him or whatever it is. Um, so then hearing that, okay, my fiance is pregnant, it's like, okay, that seemed to put a halt on any of those thoughts that he might have been having subconsciously. Any of those potential scenarios that he saw the two of them being together just suddenly came to a halt and like the reality set in like oh no this man is actually getting married this man like yes we might be having this fun time here but this man is going back to somebody that he's getting married to um he's he got a kid on the way he's got a family like he's a family man like i there's no place in my in his life for me right now um and i think that that just really really upset him and he he didn't know how to process it so he ran he ran. And then by the time he got back, Oat was already gone. And it's like, man, that sucks. Didn't get to say goodbye. Um, and then we have the time jump. I'm not sure exactly how, well, obviously a significant amount of time passed because the kid is like in college now. It's not in college, but like a significant amount of time has passed um, to where, you know, they've changed, moved on a little bit. And at first I thought, like it was a minor time jump like it was just like the next year or something and he was going to go back to that retreat or go back to that you know set of cabins and then Oat was also going to be there and they were going to rekindle whatever but no um Oat came across him in the airport looking delicious oh and he's like yeah i'm just headed to my wife's families over in phuket and Wifey was there, kid was there, and it's like, oh yeah, this is my friend, Toy, who I was telling you about, and you know, we're just having all this conversation. He's like, oh, can I add you on Facebook? And in my head, I'm like, oh, this is a, this is a, like it was already messy beforehand, but this is a messy can of worms we're opening right now. And I, I have these like mental conversations with myself frequently, because every once in a while, like someone who either was a friend or whatever, who is since gone MIA or not a fixture in my life anymore, they'll pop up on social media. They'll pop up on like Instagram or Facebook or something. And I'll get like a follow request or a friend request. And I'm like, do I want to go back down this road? Do I want to open this can of worms again? And so that's kind of the feelings that I was getting from Toy at the end there where he was looking at the friend request on Facebook. It's like, do we want to go down this road? Do we want to open this can of worms? Because it is a it's a messy can of worms right now because it's been years you guys haven't seen each other you kind of sort of quasi moved on but at the same time you could see in those lingering glances in the airport that there was still some kind of feeling of something there um especially in toy like toy definitely had something still lingering unresolved there um so yeah it seems like a messy can of worms but i'm excited to see where it goes i don't i don't know where the second movie is gonna go um i thought the first movie was gonna end with them you know happily ever after so clearly that's not the case um yeah i don't know i don't know maybe the second movie will end with a happily ever after and you know he'll leave his wife which i don't again i don't want i don't like seeing my ships come together at the cost of you know hurting other people so i don't want that to be the case um but maybe they won't maybe they'll just maintain some good level of friendship and toy will find somebody else i don't know i don't know what movie two is gonna have in store for me but i guess we'll find out but all in all it was it was a it was a cute movie um yeah i, I enjoyed it i enjoyed it
So thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Albert, for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, like Bo, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.